All right, I just arrived in Switzerland and have been welcomed by this guy. Uh, I have some trouble because it's Switzerland or whatever with my uh, data plan, which is weird because I was just in Belgium and it was working. So I have a French data plan and it should be working in Switzerland. I don't get it. Anyways, uh, I hope I'm not gonna have too much trouble with that. Uh, I'll just go downtown, maybe find some Wi-Fi and figure that out. Uh, all right, uh, let's go flash some invaders. Uh, I kind of have to do four cities, four cities in one go, maybe, or maybe I'll just skip one if I don't have the time because I, I'm just traveling for one last date and plant. Anyway, let's go do some stuff and flash some invaders here in. Basil, Val, whatever you call it. Um, I don't know if I'll get, I'll have the time to get them all. But then I'll go to Bern, get some Bern, and I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure what my plan is yet. I have an Airbnb tonight, which is pretty easy to access, so I can do pretty much whatever. And tomorrow I'm not working, so I'm free. Let's get to the, a day and a half in Switzerland, maybe. I don't know, I'll, I'll just figure things out. So I'm already not happy about this country, uh, Switzerland, because I had to get a SIM card because my Euro, my French plan and my Belgian plan doesn't work here. So that's just stupid. Uh, but yeah, uh, just gonna have to do that. I hope that what I bought, I got like 10, 10 franc, will last me two days. I'm gonna have to save data and stuff, but yeah. Let's go do this. Uh, there's a bunch of here. Uh, I think there's one right around here. I'm sorry, I'm gonna complain a little bit about it. Uh, hate about Switzerland here. Uh, already the concept of the country that makes you pay 40 euros to use the road and it's supposed to be for the whole year but it depends on when you come during the year. So for example me, so I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be able to use it next year. Which is a pain so it's kind of making me want to rush and not come back here because I don't want to have to pay for another fucking 40 euros. Uh, and stuff like that, uh, having to not be able to use your phone from uh, nearby countries and stuff like that is just, I don't know, I, I just don't like that kind of vibe and that kind of decisions. So yeah, I'm just gonna do those invaders quickly, as much as I can, as fast as I can, I'll probably do some of those tomorrow and then not come back to Switzerland in a very long time. This one's pretty big and impressive with like the golden tiles and stuff and it's kind of had a, a bit of a story because it used to be the BSL-1 which got destroyed and he came and replaced it and just put one over it so the BSL-1 nobody can get it anymore I don't know how it works but he replaced it with this massive one which is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm trying to be as strategic as I can. I've done all the ones that are on one side of the river, uh, almost all of them. Just first one I got it, but it didn't like uh, because I didn't have any network. It didn't work, but it's near the off ramp to the highway, so I'm just gonna go back there when I leave. Anyways, uh, ooh, that's dark. Uh, I'm gonna just move the bike to the center of the area on the other side of the river and do them all and then I'll be able to move on to next city which should be Bern but I think there's a lot of them in Bern I don't know this place kind of feels like the opposite of Shanghai in terms of bicycles because they're everywhere like in Shanghai but people are just so fast on it and they, most of them don't even have electric assistance so they're just 
good cyclist and they go past in the middle of traffic and I'll be good. It's, I don't know. You just have to be careful as bad as true, but it's good. There's one thing you can't complain about is that it's a pretty place. Switzerland in general, that basil here is a pretty city. Switzerland in general is pretty. It's just, I don't know, how things are going here that I don't really like, but I don't know, that's just my thing. Anyways, uh, just crossing a little wooden area and next to road and there should be an invader probably on some of the pillars or under that bridge it was actually in the little woods right here just next to the street there so not under the bridge let's go get it it's pretty big or sturdy So right here we have a typical case of, I don't know if he does it on purpose, but there's this one that's facing the back of me and that other one that is facing the other way. So he's kind of, in a way, it feels like he's making sure that no one can take the picture with the both of them on the same picture. So in Paris, obviously, there's a lot of them, so you can get some pictures with a few invaders in the street in Lyon you got like three invaders in a row uh, but often he I don't know if he does because he, he could have put it on the other side of the block on the concrete block right here but he didn't he put it on the other side and they're very close to each other but you cannot show that on an image except in video like I did with right now to put a lot of those rainbows in here but there's probably a reason all right so yesterday was a bit of a shit day crazy day i started with rain in belgium like lots of rain for 160 kilometers then it was good for a whole while i got to switzerland got to basel and then burn and burn it was already getting dark and i should have just gone through but i try to do a couple and it started to rain and then I had rain all the way over here to my airbnb which uh, the airbnb is pretty cool it's just like <coughs> I kind of got a cold yesterday too because of all that rain my stuff is probably not dry yet uh, hopefully it will dry quickly on the motorbike because it shouldn't rain anymore today but my airbnb is quite cool because it's just like a big room uh, which they call the barn and they just let you take some kind of futon to put on the ground and just you do your stuff and it's quite cheap because that's the concept of you just come see it's, it's what it's a ghost uh, stay sleep and go or something like that but yeah, that's pretty cool uh, so I'm just gonna pack my things up, arrange stuff so that it doesn't, it almost look like I didn't come in and head back on the road and hopefully get dry. Alright, let's get on it. Let's 